Hello everyone, I'm here today to show you how to use the Firecrest 100mm filter holder adapter. So as you can see, this is the filter holder itself with the light shield caps fitted. Here is the rotating ring adapter. This is the item that actually fits to the camera itself. So today I'm using a Nikon 16-35 f4 lens which has a 77mm tread. In other words, the adapter I would need to fit any filter holder onto this has to have a 77 millimeter tread. So with the Firecrest system, the rotating ring comes naturally with an 82 millimeter tread. You also get a 77 millimeter adapter, which is what I'll use on this system today, but you also get the 72 millimeter adapter and you get the 67 millimeter adapter. So you're getting three adapters and the natural 82 millimeter trade on the original rotating adapter ring. So I have the rotating adapter ring here, which is what the filter holder fits onto, and I have the tread adapter. So this is a 77 to 82 millimeter tread adapter. My next step is to fit this onto the lens. So you start by just simply screwing it in place. And sorry if I can put that on straight because there we go treads on until it's tight. That's the rotating ring mounted onto the lens itself. Your next port of call is you will get the adapter itself. This is the filter holder itself. This obviously has no ND grads or ND filters attached. So what you would do is there's a little side clip here. This fella. That's what you use to release the filter holder. There's a wheel here which is what you can use to turn the polarizing filter when it's fitted. I'll come back to that in a moment. So the clip, as you can see, moves backwards and forwards slightly. There's a catch here on this side so that just fits onto the filter holder and then you push the filter holder back towards the camera body and you hear a nice audible click and now the filter holder is mounted onto the lens. So to release it again, I just pull back on the clip and it comes off quite easily. To fit it back on again, just fit it onto the adapter and then push back towards the camera body. You hear the click, it's fitted in place. The ND filter can then be fitted in place or the graduated filter can be fitted in place. You have the light shield caps then which just slide over the filter holder itself on top and then bottom. The other component you probably want to use then is the polarizing filter. So to fit the polarizing filter we just release the filter holder with a little side clip. Get your polarizing filter, hold the rotating ring and just twist this and screw it into position. That's the rotating ring completely in place now. So you can, or the polarizing filter, sorry, completely in place now. You can use the polarizing filter without the filter holder itself if you want. So when you're looking through the eyepiece or the viewfinder, or whether you're looking through the actual live view monitor on the back, the LCD screen in the back, you can turn your polarizing filter just by hand here and see if you're getting the desired effect. Let's say for argument's sake you want to eliminate glare and water. You can just turn this to the point that it's right and there you go, take a photograph. Or alternatively you can fit the filter holder back on and you can put in your ND filters and you can put in your graduated filters. So I'll take the light shield caps off there now firstly and now we pop in a filter. So fitting a filter is quite straightforward. Basically all that's involved is sliding it in place. So if I put the filter in here and just slide it down, that's it. That's our ND filter fitted in place. You can of course, as I was saying, put your light shield caps back over then again. Sorry, wrong way around. And because the light shield caps that I have installed at the moment are the vented 
light shield cap, so you can see the slot here. I can slide a graduated filter through that, so if I pop that back in place and get a graduated filter, I can just catch my graduated filter, slide it down through, and that's it. So that's how you use the filter holder. You want to recompose your shot, you want to change your focal point if you think you haven't, you're not getting sufficient depth of field. Just take it off. You can then whatever you want. You can see through live view on the back because in some cameras, if you're shooting, let's say with a 10 stop filter, the camera can't actually focus through it, especially with a graduated filter attached. So you can just quite easily take the whole lot off, put it back on line again, put it in back in situ, push back, there's a click, my hand was holding it that time, so if I just put it back in place, push back, load all will click, it's in situation, so you can just fire away your shot then and that's the end of that. So I have also a full review too as well on the Format High Tech Firecrest filter holder, showing you the pros and cons of this specific holder if you want to go check that out. Um, there's also a group test video there too as well of the Lee Foundation Kit, the Nissi filter holder system and the Format High Tech Firecrest filter holder system, which one I think is best and why I use it every day. And by the way, it's this one. Thanks for watching.